The crew of British Midland Flight 92 is completing final takeoff preparations for a short flight to Belfast, Northern Ireland. Captain Kevin Hunt flew the plane in from Belfast. First Officer David McClellan takes the controls for the return trip. Thrust set. Here we go. As Flight 92 clears the busy airspace around Heathrow, the controller permits the crew to climb to the cruising altitude, 35,000 feet. Can I have a coffee too, please? 13 minutes into the flight. Oh. You smell that? Is that smoke? There's a problem with one of the 737's two engines. Captain Hunt takes control, leaving his first officer to work out what's wrong with the plane. It's a fire, Kevin. Which one is it? It's the right one. The crew tries to stabilize the problem engine by reducing power on that side. OK, throttle it back. Throttle it back. Seems to be running all right now. The crew seems to have solved the immediate crisis. But we still got the smoke. But want to get back on the ground as fast as possible. Uh, this is Midland 92. Uh, we've got an engine fire. We need to divert to East Midland. Understood. Cleared for descent to 10,000 feet. Flight 92 is just 15 minutes from East Midlands Airport. It's closer than returning to Heathrow. Landing lights. On. The pilots will have to make the landing with just one engine. Flaps one, please. To land safely at low speed. Flaps one. The pilots need to set their flaps to increase lift. Power, please. And call for more power from their one remaining engine. Pilots face a terrifying new danger. We're losing another engine. Incredibly, the left engine is now failing. Their plane could soon have no engine power at all. Flight 92 is less than a thousand feet from the ground. The pilots need to think fast. Try relighting the other one. They try to restart the engine they shut down. It's not. I, I, I can't see it. It won't start. One engine is dead. The other is in flames. I have to stretch the glide. Captain Hunt pulls up the nose of the plane, hoping to stay in the air long enough to reach the airport. But more and more alarms are filling the cockpit. Damn it! The stall warning shakes the captain's controls. A deadly sign that they're about to lose their lift. British Midland Flight 92 has slammed into an embankment beside the M1 highway, just half a mile from the airport. 87 of the 126 people on board are alive, but many are injured, including Captain Hunt, who has a broken spine. 